Michif. Michif is the language of the Métis people of Canada and the United States, who are the descendants of First Nations women and fur trade workers of European ancestry. Currently, Michif is spoken in scattered Métis communities in the provinces of Saskatchewan and Manitoba in Canada and in North Dakota in U.S., with about 50 speakers in Alberta, all over age 60. There are some 230 speakers of Michif in the United States, most of whom live in North Dakota, particularly in the Turtle Mountain Indian Reservation. There are around 300 Michif speakers in the Northwest Territories, Northern Canada. Michif emerged in the early 19th century as a mixed language, and adopted a consistent character between about 1820 and 1840. Michif combines Cree and Métis French, a variety of Canadian French, with some additional borrowing from English and indigenous languages of the Americas such as Ojibwe and Assiniboine. In general, Michif noun phrase phonology, lexicon, morphology, and syntax are derived from Métis French, while verb phrase phonology, lexicon, morphology, and syntax are from a southern variety of Plains Cree. Articles and adjectives are also of Métis French origin but demonstratives are from Plains Cree. The Michif language was first brought to scholarly attention in 1976 by John Crawford at the University of North Dakota. Much of the subsequent research on Michif was also related to UND, including four more pieces by Crawford, plus work by Evans, Rhodes, and Weaver. The Michif language is unusual among mixed languages, in that rather than forming a simplified grammar, it developed by incorporating complex elements of the chief languages from which it was born. French origin noun phrases retain lexical gender and adjective agreement, Cree origin verbs retain much of their polysynthetic structure. This suggests that instead of haltingly using words from another's tongue, the people who gradually came to speak Michif were fully fluent in both French and Cree. The number of speakers is estimated at fewer than 1,000, it was probably double or triple this number at the close of the 19th century, but never much higher. Michif is recorded starting in the 1970s combined two separate phonological systems, one for French origin elements, and one for Cree origin elements. For instance, slash y slash, slash l slash, slash r slash and slash f slash exist only in French words, whereas pre-aspirated stops such as and exist only in Cree words. In this variety of Michif, the French elements were pronounced in ways that have distinctively Canadian French values for the vowels while the Cree element shape distinctively Cree values for vowels. Nonetheless, there is some Cree influence on French words in the stress system. But by the year 2000 there were Michif speakers who had collapsed the two systems into a single system. Michif has 11 oral vowels and 4 nasalized vowels. The following four vowels are nasalized in Michif. A schwa slash slash appearing between two consonants in French origin words is dropped in Michif. Examples of this process are listed in the table below. In French, a liaison is used to bridge the gap between word final and word initial vowel sounds. This process does not occur in Michif, though some remnants of it are evident. For many nouns, liaison consonants become integrated into the noun itself. The voiced alveolar stop slash d slash in French origin words is palatalized to slash d slash in Michif, as it is in Akkadian French. This may occur word initially or word internally. A comparison of some common words in English. French, Michif, and Cree. Nouns are almost always accompanied by a French origin determiner or a possessive. Cree origin demonstratives can be added to noun phrases, in which case the Cree gender is that of the corresponding Cree noun. Adjectives are French origin, and as in French they are either pre or postnominal. Prenominal adjectives agree in gender, however, postnominal adjectives do not agree in gender. The verb phrase is that of Plains Cree origin with little reduction. Michif word order is basically that of Cree. However, the more French origin elements are used, the closer the syntax seems to conform to norms of spoken French. Nouns, 83 to 94 percent French origin, others are mostly Cree origin, Ojibwe origin, or English origin verbs, 88 to 99 percent Cree origin question words, Cree origin personal pronouns, Cree postpositions, Cree origin prepositions, French origin conjunctions. 55% Cree origin, 40% French origin numerals, French origin demonstratives, Cree origin. The Lord's Prayer in English, French, and Michif. In languages of mixed ethnicities, the language of the mother usually provides the grammatical system, 
while the language of the father provides the lexicon. The reasons are as follows. Children tend to know their mother's language better. In the case of the Maidis, the men were often immigrants, whereas the women were native to the region. If the bilingual children need to use either of their parents' languages to converse with outsiders, it is most likely to be the language of their mothers. Thus, the model of language mixing predicts that Mishif should have a Cree grammatical system and French lexicon. However, in reality, Mishif has Cree verb phrases and French noun phrases. The explanation for this unusual distribution of Cree and French elements seen Mishif lies in the polysynthetic nature of Cree morphology. In Cree, Verbs can be very complex with up to 20 morphemes, incorporated nouns and unclear boundaries between morphemes. In other words, in Cree verbs it is very difficult to separate grammar from lexicon. As a result, in Mishif the grammatical and bound elements are almost all Cree, and the lexical and free elements are almost all French, verbs are almost totally Cree, because the verb consists of grammatical and bound elements. Seen in this way, it can be argued that Mishif is fundamentally Cree, but with heavy French borrowing. Métis cultural centers such as the Mischief Cultural and Métis Resource Institute in St. Albert, Alberta, the Métis Culture and Heritage Resource Center in Winnipeg, and the Gabriel Dumont Institute of Native Studies and Applied Research are attempting to revive the language through public outreach. As of 2013, the Northern Journal reports that Aboriginal language and culture is becoming increasingly visible in Alberta, as Alberta's Northland School Division. Serving mostly First Nations and Métis students in the northern part of the province has expanded its community partnerships and culture camps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.